So for instance now, we went from all of the geometric features to our equation, right? So you don't have to write this down. We'll go through some proper example later. If I said to you, x squared equals say, hmm, let's do, let's do 32y. Okay, just suppose that's what I gave you. That's what I handed you, right? <coughs> now because we went from here and ended up here, right? You can see that this is in this form. Do you, do you agree they're in the same form? Right. Really, that's x squared equals, how would you rewrite this in this Four form? Times Four times ay. Four times ay, right? Which you would normally say, why did you bother doing that? Like 32y is simpler, right? Well, the reason why we would bother is because now I know what a is, right? There he is, right there, okay? So immediately I can now say, all right, now that I have the equation, I know where the focus is, and I also know what the directrix is going to be. If, if I work backwards, right? The focus should be exactly the focal length away from the vertex. Do you agree with that? Okay, so where would that be if the focal length is 8? Yeah, it's going to be 0, 8. That's, that's how high it's going to be. And in exactly the same way, I could say, well, the direction <coughs> has to be the other way. It, it's still 8 units away, but it's below. So it's going to be y equals <coughs> negative 8. You see that? What if, now going to that example I was talking about before, what if I gave you this? It's hmm. the same thing because life is always positive. Good, okay, so I'm still going to preserve A as being 8, okay, but, oops, sorry, I'm still on green. That's going to mean I rewrite this like so, x squared equals negative, negative 4, 8, y. Okay, now what does this mean though? I still have the same length that I have here, but it's, it's upside down, it's upside down, right? So the focus will no longer be above the parabola, the focus should be below, okay, because the whole thing is upside down. So I would say the focus is at 0, negative 8, okay, and therefore the directrix will be above at y equals 8. Okay. Let me do one more, let me do one more, uh, and then I'll label some more stuff on this parabola, I hope it's big enough for you. If I flip things around, okay, let's go <laughs> y squared equals 32x. Mm, okay, now we, we've seen these before actually, we've drawn these, right? Just remember, first, it's in this kind of form, it's just that the x's and y's are backwards, right? So let's just quickly factorize it. There's our 4, and then there's our, oops, sorry, <coughs> number's there, okay? So the focal length is still 8, right? So it's going to be the same, I suppose you could say the same steepness or fatness as both of these guys, right? But how is it different? It's sideways to the right. Mm, okay, so just quickly, right? This guy is facing up, so there's the focus, and there's the directrix, right? Have a look at this next one. This guy's facing down, so the directrix is up above, and the focus is below. Okay. So now, which way is this parabola going? It's going off to the right, isn't it? So you can already see where the directrix and the focus should be. Where would you expect them to be? Here's the focus on the right. Okay. So that would mean because the focal length is 8, what do the coordinates of that look like to you? 8, zero, right? Focus will be at 8, 0, which implies the directrix is on the other side, and that's clearly negative, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but be careful, it's not a horizontal line like these guys. The directrix will be Exceed vertical, negative eight. negative 8. And I don't need to do another example. You can see it just turns which way, okay? Does that make sense? All right, so we introduced the focus. Then we had the directrix. I'll label that again. The directrix. Uh, if I can oh, wow. spell, do it far <laughs> out, let's start again. Um, there we go. Um, introduce the focal length once you know the correct form. I've been spelling it wrong. Directrix, yeah, okay. There's one more line I want to put on here so you can go back to your um, labelled thing. See how I've got the focal length right there? It's vertical, okay? There's a line that goes straight across through the focus. The focus is a very important point, as you can see. Straight across here, that is parallel to the directrix, okay? It goes through the focus, through the focus, and it's parallel to the directrix. This guy has a very strange, awkward name, okay? It's called, it has a, it has a Latin name, okay? It's called the Latus Rectum. Now, before you think, wait a second, that's like the, the what, okay? Where does this come from? It, came, it comes from, not the same root word you're thinking of. It comes from the same root word that this comes from, right? 
uh, which means straight. Which is also when you say, oh, okay, there's like a picture on the wall and it's like wonky, right? Well, the thing you should do with it is you should rectify it, which means you should straighten it. I think I have an extra Oh my god, does rectify come from rectangle? Well, no, they both come from the same root, okay. which is to straighten something, okay? Um, by the way, what you're thinking of when you see this word does have the same root. It's not that this comes from that, it's that both of these things come from the same thing, which means straight. Okay. Um, and you can, you can go and look up the anatomy if you really want to know why it means straight. But that's what it means. It is straight, straight, and um, does anyone know what this means? The very last straight chord as you draw. Mm. Oh. No, actually, no. If someone says to you, like gives you a problem and says, oh, this requires some lateral thinking. Uh, okay, so lateral thinking. Um, or we talk about, you know, on, on a planet, right? On the planet, you've got these lines that go up and down and they're called Long lines of longitude. And then you have these ones, right, that are called, what are they called? They're called lines of latitude because they go across. They go across. You have to think across ways outside of your normal way of thinking, right? So it is going straight across. That's all it means, okay? And it's through the focus.